Hey, it's Consumer Will, and uh, welcome to my page. I'm going to take you step by step as far as building your brand new Dragon Force 65 RC sailboat by Joysway into something like that. Okay, so before we begin, um, just to let you know about some of the things that you'll need uh, to build your boat. Uh, I have myself some 30 minute epoxy. This stuff here, which is Gorilla Zoo glue. And the reason why I chose this was because it's 100% waterproof. And it's actually a really nice, strong uh, glue. A little bit of CA glue. That's super glue. And you'll also need some thread lock. I use a medium strength um, uh, Permex uh, brand. It's uh, I like the medium just because it gives you a bit more time to work with it um, as far as the super glue and then the medium it doesn't uh, it's not a super strong hold so when you're unbolting stuff you'll uh, uh, you won't rip into the threads or crank the threads too much anyways um, brush to kind of mix with the epoxy and apply some of the Gorilla glue and yeah, it's something to stir stick around. Okay, so here's here's the Dragon Force kit. This is what it looks like uh, when you get it. And we're going to go through some unboxing and some of the initial things that you'll need to do. Okay, so we're going to take this thing uh, out now. And what you'll find inside is registration card very important and your manual and you'll see the boat itself carbon mass electronics pre-installed all your sails and stuff here and you're kind of going okay well, where's the rest of the stuff well it's on the back of this box and I'll take you through that now first thing first very important okay you have to register your Dragon Force uh, the reason why I say that is because you only have 30 days after you purchase it. That's a purchase date, so that, that includes all your shipping time and all that. To go on to the Atomic site, and it's Atomic RC, and you got, go into register your product. Of course, you put in your name, email, and all that. Then it asks for a part number. Well, that's on your box. So your part number is gonna be, mine is that. And then it asks you for a serial number. So here's the thing. It says the serial number should be on a red tag on the boat. There, this version of Dragon Force does not have a serial number on the boat. So what I've confirmed is you would use this number here, which is your SKU number. Okay, Atomic RC covers your electronics for 30 days from the time of purchase and everything else for 90 days, um, uh, like parts and stuff like that, uh, after the time of purchase. So it's really important to register your boat as soon as you can so that uh, in case anything goes on uh, within the first month as far as electronics you can get it uh, replaced and the, the nice thing about Joy's Way they're awesome as far as warranty and uh, replacement they respond really quick and uh, they get you out that part uh, really quick too as well so uh, I've noticed on the sticker here it says notice crash damage is not covered under warranty so Obviously, if you're going to crash your boat um, and you crack the hull or something like that, they're not going to cover it. Um, on my manual here, just to note, uh, this is the looks like a 2014-05 version, and uh, which is the version that's out there right now. Okay, so we'll take you through some more of the unboxing and some of the things that we're going to do. Okay, so you've taken your Dragon Force out of the box now. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on strengthening all the various stress points on this boat. Uh, the reason why, 
why we have the Gorilla Glue is so that we're going to apply it to the threads of all these different areas here. And especially back here, okay, the, on the Dragon Force, it has only one backstay attachment point. There's no side rigging or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some pliers and we're just going to slowly break free one of the points here. And we're going to take some of the Gorilla Glue. We're just going to put a little spot on there. Just enough to cover the thread there. And we're going to screw that back in. Now when you screw it back in, you don't want to over tighten it, do not over tighten it, or else you're gonna end up cracking the plastic there. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna do every single one of these attachment points with glue, Gorilla Glue. Okay, just some uh, rigging things that uh, should come up here. In the instructions, it tells you that deck I six, this is how they're gonna be running the sheets. Uh, what I find is with all my rigging, I like to, to be very straight. So that means that the less times that line has to go through various rings or whatever, the better, less, less problems you're gonna have. So on my race boat, my deck I six, the, the sheeting line runs as such. So it runs direct from the cleat here into the deck eye. And that's how it sheets out. When you work on your dragon force and as you're gluing it, this is how it looks from the box. And what it's telling you is that you should run the line from here into this one and this one and then out to here. I don't like that system because you basically have to, you, you have th three points where that line can either snag or get worn through and snap. So you definitely don't want that. So what I do is I run it from the connector directly into deck I6. So what we're going to do is basically glue that deck eye so that it runs perpendicular to the hull. Um, another reason why I don't like it when it's like this is because it offsets it by, you know, that one millimeter from the center. I, I guess I'm just kind of a bit more of a perfectionist with the centering of things and all. So that's how we're going to glue it. Now when you get to gluing these ones, you will need to unattach the elastic from the connector. Okay, and when you get to these ones here, it's a matter of unattaching one by one. Okay, you might need to loosen this here. And uh, go from there. Another thing that I've done, that I will be doing, is this little backstay, this little backstay that they provide looks kind of wimpy to me. So what I've done on my boat is I've converted it and I've used a heavier duty connector. And how I did that was I took a little sheet, um, little hinge clevis like that, or hinge washer or whatever. And I put that in my vise with a bit of uh, pliers and I just kind of twisted it as such. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually totally uninstall that and I'm gonna glue this one in its place and screw that in. 
Okay, so you've glued everything in. And uh, what I noticed on my boat, actually, Joy's Way has already glued these uh, attachment points in. So I didn't bother uh, unscrewing them and um, and wrecking that bond. So they're in there pretty tight, so I, I just thought I'd just leave that. Now, coming back here, I've installed my backstay attachment point, my nice heavy-duty uh, attachment point. Uh, this little pulley here, I've glued in the screws. Uh, just a tip, don't unscrew the whole thing at once. Take one screw out, hit it with a bit of glue, screw it back in, take the other one out, hit it with a bit of glue, screw it back in. You'll see a bit of uh, overflow glue and just kind of make sure you dab, a, dab it, make sure it's not kind of getting into the, the, uh, the sheeting line or the pulley. Okay, next thing, this little thing here, that's a drain plug. So at times, you know, in rougher kind of weather and stuff, it'll take on some water or you might have a small leak somewhere or you don't, uh, um, you know, seal the hatch properly. There's two hatches, one here for the radio compartment and electronics, another one up here. Now, what I've done on my boat, because this little thing, if you go to drain it, you might kind of lose it or whatever. So I've drilled a small hole there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some of this coated steel line in through that hole from here. And I'm also going to attach it either to my backstay or to my on off switch. Just so that when I do unplug this, it's going to stay attached to the boat somewhere. Um, and I'm not going to end up putting it down somewhere and walking away and, oh, where's my drain plug, you know? Anyway, so we'll do that. And uh, for this one, I'll attach it to my on off switch there uh, to save weight. If you guys want to do that, that's, it's up to you. All right. So there's my little drain plug protector kind of linked up there. So we're all glued up and uh, we've got our little backstay. We've made sure all our attachment points are nice and strong. Okay, the Gorilla Glue will take a good 24 hours to set. So, you know, definitely take your time with this. Think ahead. Uh, we're going to be on to the next stage here soon. So subscribe and uh, we'll go from there.